Hi, and welcome to the video how to create a change request approval process. In this video, I'm going to guide you through the steps in order to create a change request approval process. Also, I'm going to show you a demo so you can see how this process works. So let's get started. Once you log into BMC Helix from 84, let's go to Setup. In the Quick Find box, type Approval Processes. In the drop down menu, search for Change Request. Click on Create New Approval Process and select Use Jump Star Wizard. Give it a name to your Change Request Approval Process. In the Approval Assignment Email Template, you can select the out of the box template that we have in Remedy Force. Search for Change Request Approval Required Email Template and select it. Scroll down to the criteria section and you can specify any criteria. If this criteria is met, the change request record is going to be for approval. In this case, I'm going to select change request type equals emergency. Insert selected and scroll down. The next section is to select the approver. Here, you can specify a user, a queue, or related user. In this case, I'm going to send the approval to a specific user. Select the automatically assigned to approver, user, and I'm going to select myself. So now I'm going to save the changes. Click on OK. And now select View Approval Process Detail page. In this page, you will see the details for your change request approval process. You can find the criteria the approval assignment email template that you select previously, and who can submit the record for approval. In this case, is the change request owner. Next, we have the initial submission actions. In this section, you can create the first action that is going to be triggered as soon as this record goes through approval. The next section is the approval steps. As you can see, I only have one step, and I am the approver. The next section is final approval actions. Here, you can specify all the actions that are going to be triggered if this record is approved. In the opposite side, we have the final rejection actions. Here, you can also send an email alert, fill update, or add one message if the record has been rejected. In this example, I'm going to set the status to pending approval in the initial submission action, approve status in the final approval actions, and rejected a status in the final rejection actions. So let's go ahead. In the initial submission actions, click on add new and fill update. Give it a name to this action. And in the field to update, you will notice a status field is not available in this list. So what we can do is set the status by using a template. Click on the template name. And before to go further, we need to create a template. So let's open a new tab and go to Remedy Force Administration tab. Here, the first thing we need to do is make sure the statuses are available for the change request object. So search for a status, search for pending approval, approve, and reject the statuses. If you don't have these statuses, you can easily create it from here. In the pending approval, make sure the change request is enabled. The same for approve and the same for rejected. Now that we are sure these statuses are available for change requests, let's go to templates. I'm going to create three separate templates. Make sure we have change requests in the template for and give it a name. In the drop down menu, search for the status field and search for pending approval. Click on add and save it. The same for approved status. And finally, rejected status. Once we created three templates, it's time to go back to the approval process again. In the first field update for the initial submission actions, we select template name. Then, Select Use a formula to set the new value and type the name of the template. Make sure the template is within double quotes. 
The same steps is for the final approval actions. Add new, fill update, template name, and provide the template name. Finally, let's set the rejected status. Save the changes, and we have completed the change request approval process. Let's activate it and let's see how this works. I'll create a new change request record. In the change type, I'm going to select emergency in order to meet the approval process criteria. Let's go to details tab and click on submit for approval button. Close the pop-up window, reload the form, and you will see the approval has been assigned to me. In the change form, click on reload, and as you can see, the status changed to pending approval. I'm going to approve this record. Go to the change form again, and the status is showing approved. Now, I'm going to submit this record for approval again. Reload the form, pending, and I'm going to reject this record this time. Go to the change form, and the status shows rejected. This concludes the video, how to create change request approval process. Thank you for watching.